Hey, this is Math 8, Unit 7, Lesson 7, our CSD homework packet. Uh, today's lesson is on practice with rational basis. So we're going to rewrite each expression using a single positive exponent. So just remember our rules here when we're doing single and it says positive, is that when we're dividing exponents, okay, so when you divide exponents, it means we're going to subtract the exponents from each other. When we are multiplying, it means we're going to add the exponents together. Okay, and we see we're dividing here, multiplying there, so make sure we have that going the right direction. Okay, so you're going to do that there. Now, notice that when you do it, you might end up with, let's say, for example, if I had 5 to the 4th over 5 sevenths, that would become 5 to the 4 minus 7, which gives me 5 to the negative third power. I don't want to leave it as a negative though, I want to keep it positive, so it needs, means I need to move this guy downstairs and write it as five, uh, 1 over 5 to the third power. So make sure as you're doing your work here with these numbers here, that if you end up with a negative exponent, you put them in the right floor, either upstairs or downstairs, to make sure he ends up being positive. Okay? Number 2 says Diego wrote 6 to the 4th times 8 to the 3rd equals 48 to the 7th. Explain what Diego's mistake was and how you know the equation is not true. Okay, so let's take a look at what his mistake was and why is it not true. It's been a common thing in all of our work lessons so far, and you can see it right here. In order to do our rules, something has to be true all the time, and something was not true there, which is why his equation is not true. So I'll let you do number two. Number three. All right, right using a single exponent. Okay couple ways of approaching this one here. You can move things to the right floor first and then solve or kind of leave it like it is. I'm going to go ahead and put things on the right floor. So this one can be rewritten as 10 to the negative fifth needs to come downstairs. So 10 to the fifth goes there and this one is in the wrong floor so he needs to go up there. So that becomes 10 to the tenth. Now at this point I can go ahead and do my normal 10 to the 10 minus 5 equals 10 to the fifth power. Okay, now did I need to do that? That's a great, great question, right? What happens if I don't move things around? Well, what would I have? I would have 10 to the negative 5 minus a minus 10, which is just fine. This is adding 10 and 10 minus 5 is going to be simply 5. So you don't have to rewrite it. You can do the regular thing and get the same solution. I just wanted you to see how that works out. I like to rewrite it so I can see it a little more clearly. All right, let's look at C. C, we have 5 to the 9 minus 21. 9 minus 21. Well, 9 minus 21 is, um, or 21 minus 9, the difference there is going to be 12, but it stays a negative 12. I could leave it like that, or I could write it as 1 over 5 to the 12th power, depending on what, kind of what your teacher's been talking to you about. The, both of those are equivalent, and they both work there. Okay. Recall for number letter D, any number to the 0 power is what? 1. So just keep that in mind there. So that's what you're going to use to help solve that one. Okay. Moving down, number 4. I'm going to go ahead and look at A and D single positive exponent. So we have 12 over 12 to the negative fifth power. So I'm going to move that guy downstairs so he becomes positive. He was kind of grumpy and negative upstairs so I moved him downstairs and now he's a happy little neighbor. Over here we're going to first multiply those together. When I multiply those together I get 7 to the negative sixth power. So they're, they're together now. That's awesome. But now they're unhappy living upstairs. So let's move them downstairs so they're a little happier. So 1 over 7 to the sixth power. Do the same idea for B and C. Okay, number five. What is the slope of a line that goes through these points right there? We did a similar problem like this back in lesson two, and it was uh, number four. And we looked at the equation there and how to do that there. So we have the equation for the slope of a line. So you can look back there and see what that was. So review your notes from lesson two. Um, so it would be unit 7, lesson 2, number 4, and we did that one together. Alright, and then looking at number 6. 
Write the equation of a line that passes through 1114 has a slope of negative, uh, slope of two. To do that, we use the um, the point slope form. Point slope form because we were given a point and we're given a slope. Point slope form is what? Y minus Y1 equals the slope times X minus X1. All right, we have some values here. So we have, uh, do we have a Y1? And that's our Y1. Y minus 14 equals the slope of two times X minus X1, which is 11. Okay, now from here, what you're going to do is you're going to kind of distribute and solve. So let's do this together. We have y minus 14 equals 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 11 is negative 22. I can add 14 to both sides. So that y equals 2x and then 22 and 14 different um, operations there. So I find the difference. 22 minus 14 is 8 and 22 is a larger absolute value, so it's a minus eight. So that becomes the equation. So that's an equation. This, like I said before, is also an acceptable equation. This is just in slope intercept form here, and this is point slope form there. And the reason is this gives us a point, boom, boom, and a slope, and this gives us a slope and the y-intercept. That's why they're called that there, okay? Now it says to find two other points that are on the same line and put them in the table below. So it wants us to then use this equation here and using the equation, what other points can we find? So you're gonna substitute three into there to solve for y and then you'll substitute y into there to solve for x. So I'll let you solve those on your own just by using the equation that we worked out there together to get those two missing values from that equation. That's it for today. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.